Wow! You guys, I am never going to get tired of watching as the Arctic wolves move across the ice and past the, the frozen waterfall that have been part of their home for so long. And look at all of the pups! So many paw prints of tiny little wolf pups have been part of this home for ages. I love it, I love it, I love it. Ah. All right, guys. Hello and welcome to what could potentially be the last final season of, or not final season, the final episode of season one of our adventures here in Ice Ice Outpost. But I may change my mind and we may carry on uh, with more very soon. But I just wanted to let you guys know this is kind of towards the end of the winter season that I record games in and then we'll be getting ready for spring season. Oh! But that doesn't mean that Ice Ice Outpost or Shepherd's Nook would be going anywhere because holy cow, has this place ever become a deep, deep part of my heart. This has been amazing. This has been so amazing. And we still have so far to go because we do want to have those multiple, I mean, look, we barely touched this whole world. We've barely even begun. And we have so much more to do. The herds of reindeer that I want to have roaming around. The polar bears need to have an expanded area. I want to have a gondola that goes over the polar bears. We've got so much more to teach people. And we also have the village itself to make sure that it is secure and safe for everyone. Uh, which includes the money, which I think we just lost a ton of money from people being unhappy with their visit. Uh, and then general habitat repair, power cost, animal food. It's starting to go up. It's starting to go up. We need to make people a little happier. Uh, but we'd have done this piece by piece. All by ourselves, we've done this and transformed all of this. I am so proud of us, guys. I am just so freaking proud. All right, let's pop down and see why are y'all stressed down here? There's no reason for any of that. Is it because of these people? If it's because of these people, we can actually solve that really quickly. Let's come over and grab this. And then, oh dear, Pebble has apparently managed to escape. So that's kind of a town emergency when the wild snow leopard in the area manages to get loose. Let's see what everybody's fussing about. Where is she? She came into this deep cave that we made for her. And everyone thinks that that means that she got loose. But let me see where her barrier is. But I think we can just make her barrier like a lot bigger into the mountain. That's really playing with fire though, trying to work on a barrier like that. Hmm. But they're just really happy with the big expansion that I gave them. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't need to be quite so big. All right, come on, Pebble. You're gonna make everybody think. Come on, Pebble. It doesn't need to be quite this big, does it? Come on. That's right, turn around. All right. She should still have plenty of room. Even if she is, oh wow, she managed to get all the way up there. There we go. Someone's gonna have to come collect the snow leopard off the side of the mountain, oh, oh well. Oh, and the stockings are done, ready to be sold again. So glad to see that our stocking shop has been so prosperous. Uh, but we are losing a ton of money to people just being unhappy again. So since this, there we go, $2,000 in stockings, I will take it. So let's see what we can do to try to make people, oh, and Arterio is hungry. Let's go ahead and call the keeper over. This little one is stressed out but getting better. Good. The snow leopard should not have escaped for long. Oh, who caught her? Let's come see which one of our keepers this is, or which one of our like villagers this is. It's the flute musician. Flute musician Feather came down and managed to catch her. Good. All right, that's gonna be secure. Uh, the camp water well needs a vendor, has been without a vendor for a very long time. All right, we should, oh yay, and the red panda research is done. Good job, quilter peaches. Let's just start doing some research on the Eastern Brown Snake because we haven't done that yet. All right, we actually should have a vendor for this spot. There's always just so much to do. It should be Camp Counselor Nikki. And this should be her shop. So heading to facility. Where is she? 
The job is a snooze fest. Nikki, yeah. come on. Maybe we just need, just hanging around? This is where you work, Nikki. Stay in this shop and it should all be good. All right, there we go. People should come start getting water from her soon. And this water treatment needs some maintenance for sure. Whew. All right. Whew. All right, Springbok died of old age. It does happen. A vet should be called. <gasps> Silver roses. Oh my gosh, Silver Rose. I didn't know you were pregnant. Maybe that's what she was doing. She was just searching for a new place to give birth to another baby. Silver Rose had a daughter named Ever Rose a while ago. Let me go ahead and roll our random generator to see which one of y'all's names to pick from. Let's see, which one's a good one? Oh, that one's pretty. Okay, you guys ready? All right. Who do we have here? <gasps> right there! Baby! I never get tired of snow leopard babies! A little boy who's a golden level boy boy boy! Yes! Okay, so we're actually gonna name him Prince. Because I think that would be perfect. I was actually gonna use a different name. Uh, but I'm gonna name him Prince because that sounds absolutely freaking charming. Oh, he's already meowing at mom! That's wonderful! And actually, you guys, ever since I put up those signs, I really actually feel like people have been quieter around the snow leopards and it seems to be making them feel a lot less stressed, which is just fantastic. Oh, that makes me very happy. So I think those security signs do work. The little ones that say like, shh, be quiet. Animals are trying to chill here. All right. What else do we have going on? This one is stressed, but should be getting better. All right, good. We need a quarantine at some point. And then I do think that it's time to finally have a mechanic who maybe just focuses on the polar wilds. So, oh, but we're losing so much money. All right, so let's hire a mechanic who will just focus on the polar wilds and then let's figure out how to get freaking money from people. So let me come on in and make sure that we have a good new name from our Patreon name list. And now we're gonna go ahead, do, 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 randomize the names. All right, this one's pretty fun. I'm pretty tickled. Cause we are now going to have, uh, let's, let's see, we've had dock workers. We've had, um, let's have a fisher. This is gonna be a fisherman. So this is actually going to be Fisherman Wesley. There we go, and he's going to stay in the polar wilds. And his job is just gonna be tidying up everything over on this side, which should be pretty good. We're gonna train him up too, so that he can really kind of do all of the, the I feel like you need at least two stars on all of your training with people or else it's really hard to get them to do the work that they need to. But all right, oh yay, and our guests are happy. Oh, this is wonderful, guys. What a great way to celebrate the days that we have had here in Ice Ice Outpost. Oh, I'm so proud of us. I am just so freaking proud. All right, let's go ahead and try to make the guests happier too. Let's start with the campground because there's a lot of room to do things in the campground. I'm thirsty. So someone got a drink, needs to go to the restroom. Oh, I'm thirsty again, huh? Or I wish I could have stayed longer to see the iguana. Refreshing drinks. Interesting. How could we get happiness up? They need to use the loo. Should we add in more restrooms? Hmm. I wonder if we can get like... Let's find places where people are thirsty because that seems to be a major driver. All right, people are thirsty over here as well. Hmm. Okay. And we could probably attract people over to this part of the zoo. Ooh, or maybe even, let's have hot cocoa. Let's have some hot cocoa right over here. We don't even, yeah, let's have another hot cocoa shop. Of course. We're gonna have another hot, uh, hot cocoa shop right over here because come on, what better way to introduce yourself to a new area? So let's put down a hot cocoa shop and then are people also hungry? Mm. 
a lot like there's a good amount of people who are hungry and there's a good chunk of a line over there and we want to try to minimize the number of lines people face so let's see what we've got here all right no i don't want to be in construction no run away get me out of there all right there we go and then large shop shell and we can make another little oh this is cute well, maybe this is Wesley's shop. Because, oh, Wesley could have, like, a vegan fish and chips shop. I love it. We'll get Wesley's little vegan fish and chips shop put in. Uh, and then we will also add in... Who was our camp counselor? Where did she go? <laughs> oh, she got worn out, I guess. Okay, we need another camp counselor uh, that can help feed everyone. Oh, and Aurora the polar bear is about to mature. I can't believe she's already that old. Oh my gosh. All right, well, let's come over and get some food and drink. So I don't think we've put down slushy, ooh, coffee. I don't think we've put down a coffee shop yet. And that seems like an adorable way to like mock pretend that we've totally got a legit hot chocolate it could be coffee and hot chocolate that sounds great all right that seems good comes with a new vendor let's go ahead and pause for just a second and then let's get another missy good down here yeah no wait we were gonna do vegan fish and chips okay let's do the fry shop all right and somebody asked me a few days ago like why is everything vegan because why not <laughs> As, I, as a, like, somebody who has studied biology and as somebody who has been, like, I, I am vegan because it's the best thing to do for the world, basically. Um, it's the best thing to do to take care of the planet. And it's the best thing to do for all these animals that I love. So that's why I'm vegan. Um, and so why not make everything when I'm moving shops and making stuff happen? In Planet Zoo, why not go ahead and make it vegan? It just makes sense to me. All right, let's back up a little because I'm having trouble putting that down. So yeah, that's kind of my answer because it's it's in my opinion the right thing to do for what I want out of the world, which is to try to take care of this world because I love it very much. All right, now the tricky thing is. Getting this just right. You know, I guess it's not that big a deal. Yeah, I guess it's not that big a deal if the paths are up a little bit. As long as they can go down pretty quickly. Um, And I want this to kind of be like the campground feel. Like the wild edges. And then... Oh, I think it's just because I have... Oh, we're good, we're good. I forgot I had this big marker on. We're good. Okay. And then let's actually do... Yes. This is just turning into like my favorite way to do paths. There's that. Let's make things wider. Actually, can I just like... <gasps> That'd be perfect! Yes! Look at that! What beautiful nonsense. Oh, that's glorious. And then that just opens everything up for people to be able just to walk straight through. Uh, I actually want to do two small paths, I think. And let's back up again. So I can put some flowers in between. Because that would be pretty. There we go. And actually, hmm. Hmm. I wonder why that changes what type of path the other one is. Oh well, maybe we'll leave it like this and I can put even more flowers right there. All right, let's, let me grab these two people who have now volunteered to come in. They're like, I'm lost, I'm lost. All right, this is actually going to be uh, hot chocolate maker Tanya, as usual from our amazing Patreon list. And we're gonna have her Tanya of the Polar Wilds. And she is going to be specifically assigned... Whoops, no, I don't want to do a new work zone. I need to specifically assign Tanya to this shop so that she constantly comes here. Counselor Nikki, how could you possibly cook count 
Nikki, how could you be idle? Hmm. And let me grab... Oh, because some of these guys have no work zones. That's what's making it so silly. Camp Counselor Kelly. And then now we have Hot Chocolate Maker. There's a lot of idle people. What the freaking heck? Tisk tisk tisk. Come to the Polar Wilds then. Oh, I need to get rid of... Oh, wow. There's a lot of idle people. <laughs> That's not good. We don't need those. We're going we're gonna to take some of the idle people off work zones then. Go find something to do, you silly, silly geese. All right, where's my hot chocolate maker? You're at Polar Wilds. We're going to assign you to this coffee shop. And then this is going to be... Doo -doo -doo, Jackie! So this is going to be... Um, uh, poutine! <laughs> oh my gosh, poutine, uh, poutine professional Jackie. There we go. That's perfect. And we're going to go ahead and have her be part of the Polar Wilds. All right. And let's assign her really quickly. Then we'll take the poutine. I love it. Then we'll take the gloves off. There we go. All right. Where'd they go? Oh my gosh. Did they disappear because we didn't really have them? Where's poutine Jackie? Oh, thank goodness. They're all right. They're just coming straight in. All right. Nobody panic. And we definitely need to train them both up because I don't want to have a non-poutine assigned specialist. Oh, Aurora is about to mature. I'm so proud of her. Aurora, my dear. Oh, I'm so proud of you. We'll go ahead and move her into the trade center and maybe hold on to her for a little while. All right. Look at this! This is going to be so cool! Let's get another little picnic area settled in. Where people can kind of chill here at this little campground. There we go. And then we'll try to get down some more of the arctic plants. And just make things look kind of nice over here. I'm really happy with how this is all turning out. Oh wow, there's a lot of people lining up for this food too. So we might want to we might want to hurry up with it over here, people. All right, there are some spots for people to throw away all their trash, probably more than they need. Yay! All right, Street Fox Coffee. Up and going. Hopefully, we'll give Oh, maybe that will give people a lot of energy too. All right. Hot chocolate shop there and then let's train up our chocolate maker yay all right where's our poutine specialist is that her there's camp counselor kelly wandering for crying out loud it, job is a snooze fest then get over here come on somebody needs to work on this who's coming staff none no vendor hmm I'm getting so tired, I need to rest now. Camp counselor, you're good. You should actually be over here, like, working your little tukas off. That's what should be going on. Hmm. We'll have to see what happens. I may have to do a little bit of pruning and reorganizing. Like, severe reorganizing of all of these people, if that's the case. Can I sort them by work zone? I can! So we should have one, two, three, four people. Oh, and polar observation deck. That's what's wrong. There we go. Let's get rid of the polar observation deck as a work zone. And then let's see, a lot of these people have no work zone. Hot chocolate maker. Let's do shepherd's nook. Lumberjack Beth. Let's go ahead and have you do the polar wilds. Picnic chef, you're glacier wilds. Poutine professional, you are 100% supposed to be in polar wilds. Quilter Sarah, we'll go ahead and have you stay in Shepherd's Nook. Ranger Dragons, you are actually assigned to the Glacier Wilds. Researcher Mason is exhausted and just running everywhere. Let's bring him on over to uh, the Polar Wilds for a little bit. And then Shepherd Ethan, we'll have you stay in Shepherd's Nook. 
Wolf Watcher Elias, you should actually be in Polar Wilds. Oh, that feels really good just to sort everybody where they belong. And now hopefully I will have somebody coming over here and opening up this shop. I really hope. Because there should be plenty of people. Plenty of people. And somebody should be on their way over. Ooh, Shepherd Rachel is like fully trained. Nice. Come on, we need, where's my poutine professional? Poutine professional. Serving, what are you doing over here? This is what I get. <laughs> you're not a very good professional poutine maker if you're over here serving water instead, but that's okay. All right, guys, we're headed back up again. Oh, and our reindeer's about to die of old age. To the 100,000, and I think it's safe to say we've done a good job. We have added in many a sheep. We've got reindeer. We even have adorable itty bitty baby. Oh, baby red pandas. They went and had babies on me so quickly. I didn't even manage to catch up in time. Uh, oh, and our polar bear should be mature now. And we even raised a polar bear to adulthood. Or at least we will when she stops being stuck in place. How fantastic is this? I'm so proud of her. This is awesome. All right, Aurora, we're gonna tuck you away for her wandering ways. And look at this. We've done a great job, guys. And I think we're finally building something pretty viable and something that will hopefully last through the ages. Oh, look at everybody. Go, 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 go. Who's serving over here now? It's Quilter Sarah. Quilter Sarah, thank you. She's got that poutine going for everybody. Oh, and then let's go ahead and check before we go today. I want to see how our Mountie is doing. She's wandering through here. Seems to be feeling pretty good. She's already chased six pickpockets, caught five of them. Nice, nice. All right, we'll train her up again. We want our security guard to be as skilled as they come. She is quite the wonderful Mountie. But all right, friends. So we really have accomplished a lot over the last couple months. I have learned a lot when it comes to taking care of some of the animals, a lot when it comes to some of the special builds that we have tried out. Uh, some experiments have been great. Some experiments have not. Some experiments were completely accidental, like the way the wolves jump, jump, jump all over the place here, and it looks epic. But all together, I've just loved every minute of this. It has just been fantastic. It's been so challenging, and I did have stress nightmares about the freaking goats. I actually did. I, I vividly recall having stress nightmares about all of these goats. But one thing after another, one small problem that we came back to again and again for the sake of the tiny little bleeding lambs. Look at them, blah, bleat, bleat. Oh, they're so cute. For the sake of being able to build up something amazing from nothing, we have achieved our goals. And we even have knitted many, many, many stockings and found such a fun way to transform Planet Zoo into even more of a roleplay experience for me, which of course is the number one way for me to truly deeply enjoy what we're doing. All right, let's trade these guys out. Fantastic. All right, so, and, oh, and Swindle, rest in peace. Oh, Swindle, he was our golden male. Oh, I'm gonna miss him. We need a new golden male from amongst the bachelor herd. Uh, let's actually move Ram Collins over here. He would be a good choice. And we'll put down... We'll give Swindle a nice quilt. There we go. Kind of tuck it at the back a little. And... Almost. Okay, close enough. There you go, Swindle. Swindle's quilt. There we are. What an amazing place we've built. I'm really, really, really proud of it. And I'm really, really glad that we stuck with it even when the challenges seemed to get very significant. And I'm really happy with the results. We've transformed a world. 
So I'm going to take a little break. We might be back in just a couple days with more of Ice Ice Outpost, or we might switch it up and jump to the open plains of Africa to build up a giraffe uh, sanctuary, where hopefully the goal there is to have absolute masses of towers of giraffes, where we will breed up many a golden giraffe. So anytime I need a giraffe, I will have one waiting for me. But... We will be back at Shepherd's Nook at some point in the future, and we will begin to take more care of it, and we will begin to uh, add to it with more fishing villages. I'm thinking about a mining town that might be full of tortoises, like mostly like inside of a mountain. I'm thinking about the herds of reindeer that we want to have roaming by, and I'm thinking about all of the wonderful adventures we'll have together. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Shepherd's Nook and our time here. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.